Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties and welcome to Cricut for Beginners. Today's lesson is going to be attach versus weld. Um, for beginners, it can be a little confusing as to the difference in attach and weld. They seem to do the same thing. So in this quick tutorial, I will show you the difference and show you when you would want to use each of these different options. Okay, so to start with, I'm just going to bring in some circles. So I have two circles here. I'm going to change their color just so that they are a little easier to see. Okay, so if I wanted to join these two together, but I still wanted them to be two separate cuts, I would attach them. So here I have them together. I'm going to drag my box and I'm going to hit attach. Now notice it changed the color because when something's attached, it's going to cut on one mat from one color. We're going to talk about more, talk more about that in a minute, but I want to show you now what weld does. So I have these two circles again. Let me change their colors. We will make them blue and pink again. Okay, so I have them overlapping each other going to drag my box around them so they're both selected and I'm going to hit weld. Okay, it again changed the color but it also took two separate circles and turned them into one design. When you weld something it becomes one. When you attach something it just puts it together so that it doesn't move. So that when you move one circle the other circle moves with it and they will cut exactly like this. Let me show you when you would want to use attach and when you would want to use weld. Okay, so I'm going to type in two lines of text into my text box. The first line I want to, and I'd like to change this font. I'm going to click into my font box and type in the font that I want. I know I want this Samantha upright font. Okay, so here's my line one. Let's get a second line of text to attach this text. Okay, let's say I've got it lined up and that's how I want that to look. I want them to stay right there. I'm good to go. Let's hit make it. I am not good to go. It rearranged my text on the mat to save space. So in this case, you want to attach it. Drag your box around everything you have and click attach. Now, if I hit make it, everything is right where I want it to be. It attached it so that it cuts in, in the position I want it to cut in. Okay, so this is attach. What if I want to weld? Well, let's do the same thing. Oops, spell right. Okay, let's get our second line. Okay. So, I want to attach this text. Why would I need to weld any of this? Well, let me make this bigger, first of all, so we can see what we're doing. Let's connect this um, cursive font. It's, it's a script font. It's cursive. It's meant to be connected. So we're going to take our letter space up here from 1.2 to 0, hit enter. It got it a lot closer, but it's not quite there. So let's keep bumping it down until everything is where we want it to be. Now notice that got too close here. So to manipulate these letters even further, I'm going to advance and ungroup to letters. Now I can move that one a little bit. I'm going to move this one a little bit too. Okay, that looks much better. I want to. So, if we were to group this all together and attach it, looks good, right? Let me tell you why that's not good. You know how the A is kind of scooped into the N and the T is scooped into the O? It will cut that out and it will not be pretty. And I will insert a picture here of what that would look like if you were to cut that in your vinyl.
So instead of attaching, we want to weld this together. So we're going to take all of this again, drag a box around it so it's all selected, and we're going to come to weld. And now these will be individual words, not individual letters. It will not cut into the next letter. Let's do the same thing here. Okay, let's take our spacing down to zero. That got us most of the way. Okay, so we're looking good. There's a few little edits we need to make. I need to move this A closer, but I don't want to keep going because then all my other letters will overlap. So I'm going to ungroup this advanced, ungroup to letters, and just scooch this A over. Oh, and I think I want to scooch this T over too. Okay. Now everything looks connected the way that it's supposed to be. We can drag our box and we can hit weld. Okay. So let's say that's how I want that to look. And I want them to print just like this or I want them to cut just like this. I need to drag my box and attach so that they stay together, but they are separate objects. So I can hit make it, and we have our two separate objects. I want to attach this text. I want to attach this text. So the main use for attach is when you're lining something up. Let me pull in some shapes here. So I have this heart, and I'm going to duplicate this a whole bunch of times. And I'm going to arrange these okay let's just say I need them to be in this specific order for whatever design I'm wanting to do I want these to stay right where they are I'm going to attach them now they're not overlapped, they're not welded, they're not one solid design. They are eight hearts, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine hearts. And they're separately cut, but they are in a specific set pattern. This is attach. A use for weld other than with text. Um, let's say, let me pull in some more circles here. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. I need one more. I want to make a fluffy bunny tail. I have all these circles. Attach and weld. I now have a cute fluffy bunny tail that I could put on the back of a bunny. Those are the main differences in attach and weld. Weld will take several objects and turn them into one, one cohesive solid cut. Attach takes several objects and puts them together so that they keep their shape and they keep their order. Attach is used for several little items or for text that you want to stay in its place. Weld is used to connect cursive text or to make full on designs like this bunny tail. All right, that's all we have for this week, guys. See you next time.